yeah so fred when i saw you sink that uh drop goal the drop goal it was your face i was just like oh my god look at this man he's in you he's like in ecstasy and euphoria like freaking out you could just see the you could see like how excited you were. I was like, "Is he? Is he about to cry with, with like how happy?" He is? But then you were like, you had to like recall yourself. You're like, "Oh shit, we gotta exit." Right, we gotta right. exit. And, then, and then this, and then everybody think, think. I'm not thinking, but everybody else think. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've, I've never seen you like that before. It was so funny. Oh, right, I was so chuffy, you know. Thanks, mate. I, I really appreciate yeah. it. You just, but it is one of those things, mate. You just. You don't know what you've done, mate. I looked up and the ball's just <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, yes, like yes. And then I run back and then I see there's 20 seconds left on the clock and I'm like, oh shit, head on, get your head on. And then the final, mate, you just you, you don't know, you don't know what to do, mate. But I think for me, like, there's been there's been so much, like, there's been so much around the club this year with with Tiffany Young's passing recently and obviously the battle that she went through with Tommy. You know, you see Kev with Rob Burrows. No, there's been a lot in the we've we've had a lot in the camp. You know, one of the um one of the ground staff lost his lost his baby daughter in the middle of the year, all that sort of stuff, mate. So the club has been. It felt like this year, every few months, there was there was some sort of bad news sort of hitting, or you know, a, a reality check hitting. So, mate, mm. so honestly, to walk back into we went back to Welford Road after the game on Saturday. Mate, to walk through those doors and see all the staff and that behind the scenes at, at Welford Road and just what it meant to them, mate, honestly. And like for me, as soon as the final whistle went, boys, I went mental. I shook a couple of players' hands and then straight away I was just like, I got to see my family. So I ran straight to the side, jumped over the barrier, did the old Wimbledon, then I, mate, ran up, <laughs> ran up. And then I just looked, mate, and there's my brothers. My so Bill didn't make it over, but my brothers, Sam and Jack, um, Jack's fiance, and my girlfriend and then my mum and dad and I got to give them all a hug and they're all blooming, like bawling in tears mate and don't get wrong I love the fact that I've had this moment for myself mate because I feel like I've worked hard I've been through a bit of shit in my time and, I, and I've you know to have this moment mate to give it to give them the moment you know and let them have it is mate honestly unbelievable unbelievable oh, how good. Freddie, like, ha let's let's take it around. You know, having been sacked by Leicester over Hernandez, then you had you know pretty awful time at Bath before going off to play Div Two in Japan last year, where you were confined to your flat and your own thoughts for the majority of it. Uh, did you ever think you'd have that like Johnny Wilkinson moment and actually win the Prem? No, nah, mate, never. Like even even this year, like, I'm not sure I spoke about it to you guys, but I definitely had conversations in private about the fact that you know. I signed for Leicester and I go, right, they got George Ford, right? So I'm going to be second choice 10, right? That's all right. They got, and then I'm like, oh, they got a young lad, Freddie Stewart at 15. So like, you know, if they want a bit of experience, like there's a good chance that I might, you know, get a bit of game time, um, you know, at 15. So I was like, oh, I've got plenty of chance. I rock up, mate. The two best players in the team this year have been the 10 and the fucking fullback, mate. So I've just been sat there <laughs> laughing all year. You know what I mean? So even then, and like, I was fully prepared. I was fully prepared on Saturday Obviously, I had a good run in the semi-final and stuff like that, and and back in the Six Nations period, I was like, "Look, no matter what happens today, whether I get on for thirty seconds or thirty minutes, like you contributed to the team getting, you know, where it's got, and and, and contributed to the success of it." To so come on, mate. Obviously, as early as I had to, um, and to have that well, moment, I, and it's just ridiculous. But hold on a minute, because I know when you know when you're on the bench. And you're like, I've had this yeah, yeah. You're on the bench. And, <laughs> and it's like, he goes down at 25 minutes. You're like, oh, shit, please get up. It's a weird feeling. I don't know why. Like People don't, won't understand that unless yeah. they're playing rugby. You're like, do you think you'd be like, yeah, fuck, get me on, get me on. But actually, were you a little bit like, oh, shit. But yeah, 100%. I was like, uh, you know, yeah. um, Alan Waters, the, the um, head of performance, looked at me and he was like, he was like, Wernsey, like get ready like this, like as in, and I was going, I was sat there with a can of Red Bull man going, nah, I'll be all right, mate. I'll be all right. Yeah. He's like, no, no, get up. And I'm like, I had a string of Red Bull. He's like, mate, he's, he's done his ankle, he's coming off. And I'm like, oh, off. Oh. And then like the camera's yeah. in your face and you're just sort of paroling. And everyone was coming up to me, mate, right? And like, to be fair, Ben Young's mate, obviously a real good mate of mine as well. He was just like, mate, this is why I brought you back. Like, this is your, your time, mate. Like, even before I went on. And the worst was the hardest one was we come on and we went all right up to half time and we're buzzing at half time, right? 
And everyone keep coaches and that keep coming up to me just being like, mate, just remain calm, just remain calm. You know, you do that thing. <laughs> I, don't yeah. keep the I am fucking calm. I am fucking calm. I am like, do you know what I mean? It's, it's, like, it's like when a, when you're like, when someone yeah. you're upset and then someone goes, oh, like, you're going to, you're oh, right, you're, like, you're going to cry. You're going, no, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. Everyone's coming up to you going, stay calm, mate, stay calm. I'm like, fuck it, leave me, leave me alone. And then Kev, Kev Sinfield, mate, at halftime. I'll never forget it now. I was walking out for the second half and he just, I me and Kevin got a good relationship. He's got a good relationship with everyone, but uh, we had some good, good chats this year. He turned around to me and he went, mate, I'm not sure if he meant it quite in this way that it ended up happening, but he just turned around and he went, mate, you're right, boot will win this for us today. That's all he said. Oh, really? I thought, I thought, because I would have said to you, don't fuck this up. Yeah, no, I was, <laughs> I've said it to myself, mate. We obviously stayed in the kick battle for a bit, and I, I had the worst cramp, mate. Honestly, like, I'm seeing you, mate. So basically, I've got when I start when I started those games in autumn, we pulled, we had a little protocol of like not kicking too much in the warm up, staying relaxed, mate. But of course, I'm on the bench. I played 75 minutes the week before. There's no chance I'm going on early again, mate. So like, sun's out. I'm there, t-shirt on at Twickenham. Kicking a load of penalties before the game, do you know what I mean? Showing off, trying to just remember, <laughs> just trying to like get myself on the pitch for two minutes, show Steve that I'm on it. Do you know what I mean? Like doing fucking sprints, press ups in the warm up, and then I went on and obviously it just fucked the protocol, mate. And I was there struggling to um, struggling to see the game out. So the socks were down around the ankles, mate. And uh, I knew, I knew I had, I knew there'd be one potentially one big kick to win it, and. Uh, Mate, what a shin! The best shin of my did life. You, did you know you? Did you know you had the advantage? Did we have advantage? Hundred <laughs> percent. They were miles offside. Oh, Barnes oh, gives oh, it the I, old advantage. There you are. They say so you didn't. I'll be honest with you. I thought they were going to ping Marrow for not rolling away in the tackle. Yeah, that's why. And as well. but even then, I was just like screaming for Ben Youngs to pass me the ball, just so I had two shots in case I fucked the first one up. <laughs> just the practice. Yeah, get the sights in. <laughs> this is a freebie. This is a freebie. Give it me. And then, but mate, also one thing I'll say is like, I've had the, I've had the, I've had the joy of it being, you know a lot about the drop goal and stuff like that. And don't get me wrong, boys, I will milk it till the day I die, mate. I'll be doing <laughs> after dinner speakers about everything. You, you give me a kick on it, mate, I'll do it, right? However, however, mate, the boys were class all year, but that last passage of play, the ability that we had to stay in the kick battle the way we did, to get, like, people booing Ben Youngs when he puts it up and then Chez gets it back. But two things, mate, that I think if you watch it back, you'll see. Firstly, Ben Young's is innate ability without me even having to guide the team from behind, just knowing where to put the boys. So it like, didn't work us around the corner. We just sort of went, just got us in a good position. But then the second one, mate, Jasper Viso, who was unbelievable all day. There's the moment before he's carried the ruck before. If you watch it back, he looks at Lenny and he just nods his head. He literally, he, like you'd think in a final, he'd be like, give me the ball, give me the ball. But he literally just looks at him, nods his head. I think it's Jamie George, he bumps to the ground, carries into Marrow, takes Marrow back five metres. And then that's the moment then where you go, right, that's that. If he gets, if he gets the ball and gets stopped dead, yeah. like, it's a whole different kick, mate. But suddenly he gets, makes five yards. Front foot, yeah. just, you know, honestly, mate, like these boys are un unbelievable, mate. There's so many moments in it. Oh yeah, mate. Fuck off. It's all about you, mate. It's all about you. It's all about you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, cut, we'll cut that whole bit out. Get rid of all of that. Is it? No, it? I like that. Hey, you wouldn't have thought that from my social media. Didn't think yeah. there would have a bloke on the field at some point. Yeah. And then all the boys are like, please, Fred, let us just have the cup just for one minute. He's got it down the road with his double yeah. denims. Mate, I blocked that. I blocked that McDonald's drive through mate, in Market Arbor at three in the morning because I sat on the trophy in the middle having a burger. <laughs> So this, is, this is what we want to hear. More about the piss up, less about yeah, the rugby. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just want to ask one more question. I just want to ask one question. You know when you're queuing up for a drop goal, in that in that situation, what were you thinking? Were you just like, I'm having this, or were you getting a bit weird? No, I was thinking, I was thinking in my head, I was thinking I'd chip it over the top, mate, catch it one-handed, front flip. Yeah, classic pretty bird. <laughs> I, mean, I was, I'll be honest with you, I was looking for any other, I was looking for every other option, mate. I was looking for every other no, really, you were like, no, but we actually, if you watch it back, generally, we had a bit of momentum. And yeah. it was the first time in the game we actually pulled the ball out the back a little bit and tried to, like, 
you know, work That'd around it a little bit. But yeah, no, mate, I was, I was looking because you want momentum first and foremost. I always think if you like, and also I'll never drop to the pocket early because you know then that like you're almost giving you giving the game away. So I'd always stay quite flat and then drop. Yeah. Later. Um, but mate, like, honestly, I, I've got to say as well, and without, we'll get onto the piss now and stuff like that, but like the coaches, mate, honestly, so we had the game plan they instilled in us was like genius. Like no one gave us a shot, but we were like, we, we, we're not going to, we're not going to give them anything to hit. So we just kicked everything, mate. We said in the week, we don't care whether it's the most boring final people have ever watched because we've kicked it so much. Like the Jasper Visa try was a set play that Wiggy brought in on Thursday. Was yeah, that the one where Genj, yeah, Genj cares yeah, and Genj, then yeah. the left, he's gone so, down the short side. You can yeah, tell so exactly we, that. Is, that was brilliant. Yeah, so basically Steve apparently gone to Wiggy and gone like, look, um, I, want, I, I want something different that potentially like changes the game. And they, the coaches had analysed that what happens is normally on, if they get a penalty on that 15 metre channel, most of the best defenders who want to make a tackle stand towards the post. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Whereas the obviously the people who don't stand probably more towards the touchline. So people we, like me and you will hide the other side. Mate, <laughs> I'm, uh, I mean, you and Leif would it, mate. I'd be I mean, I'll be I'll be in the backfield five meters out, mate, and the dead ball <laughs> on. Um, but mate, yeah, and so Genji taps it like he's gonna go infield and then turns and goes outfield, but also all the boys were stacked towards the post and then Yasin yeah. down the corner, mate. And honestly, like when you get that, like when, when you practice things like that, mate, and eventually you get that moment and like those boys do it. And also, yes. like the cool mate, like I'm there going, I'm preparing myself to take that kick at goal. And then Genji just looks at me, he's like, no, mate, like I think he calls like Rhino. So he's like, mate, Rhino, Rhino. And I'm like, fuck yeah, Rhino. Boom, two phases score, mate. You're like, here we go. That's why everyone was getting around Wiggy. So Wiggy made that move. Yeah, that's why everyone was getting around him. I was like, what? Jasper's the one who ran that over. <laughs> <laughs> everyone was getting around him. I was like, fair play. I think as well, mate, I think the, what makes it what makes it more special as well is beating a team like that. Like, that Sarri's team were unbelievable, mate. Like, even... like You, you saw him announce the team the day before and you're just going, this is... A proper proper team that is, mate. Like that is a lot of big name boys. So and and credit to them, those lads after the game were were, were top class. Like honestly, top class. Like you could forgive them for being um, a certain way, mate. But they are generally top. They were top class boys, mate. I, I couldn't give far. I was pissed anyway. But they were they were class with it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> 